you couldn't Google Fargo in 1996 because Google didn't exist at that time. A lot of us didn't know anything about the Coen brothers. I, I, we knew that they'd done a couple of movies before. I'd say uh, when it was originally released, um, probably there was more just sort of horror about, you know, the way we had been portrayed and we're not like that and we don't sound like that. And The reaction in the community was thoroughly mixed. I didn't like it. I was mad. I thought it made us all look like a bunch of hicks. I watched it probably when I was like in my late teens. I fell in love with it. I love the film Fargo. Um, I think it's a brilliant little piece of independent cinema. I think what, there were two, there were two parts that bothered a lot of people that said to me that they didn't like it. One was the depiction of the accents. You know, the way they, you know, we talked and all that. I, I thought that, um, you know, it was kind of embarrassing. The second thing was, besides the violence, that there was an awful lot of horrible language. And then I think as the years went by, people began to look, you know, at, at, on a deeper level at the film and then realize what it did for the community. It brought a lot of people here. Oh, I think the movie has definitely impacted our, our community here in Fargo-Moorhead. I think it drives tourism, as does the, the television show. Um, it piques curiosity on a regular basis. We get tourists at the Fargo Theater nearly every day uh, that want to come in and see the statue of Woodchip Marge. Um, and they ask us all sorts of questions about the film and how we feel about the film. Um, I, I think it is, it is definitely positively impacted the community. I know there are some that feel differently. For those of us that get kind of frustrated, frustrated with some of the negative connotations of the community, we've rallied against that and said, that's not true. There are world-class artists here. There are world-class universities, healthcare organizations. And so I feel like it's been a really positive thing. I think anytime you bring visibility to something, it's positive, but then it's up to us as individuals to represent and celebrate this tre tremendous place we get to call home. Oh, I think it definitely has impacted the community, there's no doubt. I mean, you you just look at that fact alone, that we name a beer woodchipper and people get it and connect with it. And in the areas we travel to and we sell our beer, I don't think I've had one person that's ever said, Fargo, I've never heard of Fargo. Where's Fargo? Yeah, I mean, and even at the time when the film came out, there were people in Fargo that were embracing it and loving it too. But there are definitely, to this day, still people um, that either just don't like the film because it's not to their taste, cinematically. Yeah, I was <clears throat> thinking that maybe we could use wood chippers for something different than sticking people in. But now that I've come to realize that it's just folklore, it's okay. Or they don't like the way it portrays the people that live around here and the community. When we share where we're from, like, you know, when I share, oh, I'm from Fargo, and, and folks start laughing, and they say, oh my gosh, like the movie, that's terrible. It, let's, just, let's just revel in the fact that people are saying our name, because it, it's good publicity. Once we settled on the name Fargo Brewing Company, we were talking about, okay, one of the first things that came to mind for all of us is we, we have to name one of the beers after the movie or have some connection to the movie. Eventually we sort of settled on the name Woodchipper. It's for us, it's the most well-known beer that we have too, mostly because of the name. Uh, you know, it, it's just all how you spin it. Well, when somebody tells me they, they don't like the film, my first question is, do you not like it as a piece of art or do you not like it because of the way you feel it represents our community. Yeah, I think on the positive side, I'm just re really grateful for the recognition. It's kind of put our community's name into a pop culture reference point. If they don't like it because of the way they feel it represents the community, then I always like to get into the discussion um, about the idea that we can laugh at ourselves, that we can um, embrace things that we know are caricatures or um, it's, it's heightened satire or, or things like that. I personally think that it's something that we made the very most of, quite frankly. So I would say you could call it a blessing to a certain extent, but it's one that we have to sort of deal with all the time and, and feel as if we have to, to sort of counteract um, uh, a lot of the cultural, cultural hyperbole that I referred to. The film is an exaggeration of life here. And the reality is, is we all live in complex communities that are changing. And I think Fargo has, uh, has had the film represent us in a way that there's definitely more to the story. It wasn't a documentary, it was a movie. Is at the end of the day, the movie's a comedy. It's supposed to be funny. You know, it's a violence set in this overly nice, over the top, friendly community. 
I think if you can't laugh at that, it's unfortunate, but... It's iconic. I'm sorry, but it is. And it's one of the one of my top ten favorite movies of all time. Now Fargo is uh, really cool. I'm actually really proud um, that the one film named after our hometown is an incredibly awesome piece of art by the Coen brothers. What an honor.